there. Welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2015. We are sitting here with Christopher from Greater Than Games. That's right. And he is showing us deck building, the deck building game. <laughs> And this is something you are doing with Dice Hate Me, is that correct? Right, so greater than, so Dice Hate Me Games and Greater Than Games recently merged. Right. And uh, Greater Than Games is the publishing company, and we have three imprints, Sentinel Comics, which produces Sentinel's The Multiverse stuff, right. and Fabled Nexus, that does like sci-fi and fantasy games, and Dice Hate Me Games, which produces awesome games like Bottom of the Ninth and Monster Truck Mayhem, and Deck Building, the Deck Building Game. All right, so show me how to build a deck. Well, certainly. Well, as you know, when you build a deck, you're going to need some planks of various types of wood, Correct. and you're going to need railings, and you could really use some stairs. That would help. And so in this game, we've got planks and railings and stairs, and over the course of the game, you're going to be... It is a deck building game, so you're going to start with a hand of cards, you're going to be using the screws that are on those cards, the screws in the top corners on those cards, right, right. to uh, there. purchase cards from the purchase piles and you're going to be building cards from your hand into your deck mm -hmm. and the uh, there's, so there's lots of exciting things so we've got three types of four types of wood rotten planks those are bad yeah no i figured that out that i've done a little woodwork oh really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. then we have pine planks those are okay mm -hmm. we got cedar planks oh, those are pretty nice yeah. and then we have mahogany planks Ooh. Which is mahogany. The then you've also got normal railings, and you've got ornate railings. Those are better. And then you've got stairs. Stairs act as a railing wild card. It can be either one. And you can also use stairs to, you can uh, remove the stairs from your deck, uh, not from your deck in play, but your deck in hand. You can move your stairs from your deck in order to take an extra action on your turn. So okay. They give you, they're just to give you an extra sort of Okay, turn. cool. So you start the game, each player has one rotten plank and two pine planks. Got it. And you purchase cards from the purchase piles for those three costs. So a purchase action, I'll take this three cost card and it'll go to my discard pile. So this is two piles. It's basically one pile you've split into two yep. for two options. Right. Got it. And that way if one th pile has, say, a four cost card, I can't find one. Anyway, so there are four three cost cards and if you have, a, like, mahogany. So if you've got mahogany on top of this deck and I've only got three screws in hand, uh, well, I've got another option over got here. It. And so then the three actions you could take are purchase, Build when you take a card from your hand and just put it into play in front of you. Mm -hmm. Or stain. Stain is important because, it, let's say you've been building your deck and you were pretty happy with it. At this point, you've got two pine, uh, two cedar planks and two ornate railings. That's a nice looking deck. Now it's my turn. I've got my three cards and I'm going to build a rotten plank over one of your ornate railings. Oh. This is very bad for two reasons. One, it ru ruins your bonus that you've got from those two ornate railings next to each other. Okay. And two, at the end of the game, a deck has to have two plank cards and at, at least two plank cards and at least two railing cards to be scorable. Currently, if the deck were the game were to end now, you'd get zero points for that deck. Got it. So, so this would keep growing out this way? At, at this way and even this way. Okay. The only place you can't play cards is on the green side of a railings or stairs Right, card. so I can keep building the deck out like this. Okay. Right. And so the, uh, the, the third action you can do, you can, you can purchase, you can build, or you can stain. You can stain one card, two cards, or four cards. You can't stain three cards because stain always has to land on a card. And a card that is stained cannot be built on top of. So you can defend your railings, which are key, and your stairs, which are nice. You can defend those by staining them to make sure that nobody builds on top of them. Got it, got it. How many players can play this? So deck building, the deck building game is a two-player game. Okay. That is its own expansion. If you buy two copies and shuffle them together, that's a four-player game or a three-player game. If you buy three copies and shuffle them together, that's a five to six-player game. Um, I have not played it up to eight players. I played it up to six players and it plays very nicely, but I mean, give it a shot. Who knows? You play 16 people. Right. If you want to. And, and, it's a, and a $10 game, that means it, it, it's a $10 game for two players, a $20 game for three or four players, or a $30 game for six players. Got it, got it. Uh, about how long is the game play? Five, ten minutes. The game plays really quickly, and it actually has a lot of strategic depth to it. Um, I mean, it was written to be a joke. It's deck building the deck building game. It combines the joy of deck oh, building I get it. with okay. the thrill of deck building. Right, I got it. But it ended up, ended up actually being a really pretty, a pretty rich game for such a short uh, game, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we're very proud of it. Excellent. So when is this coming out? Our goal is Gen Con. We've okay. got it in production right now. We did our, our Kickstarter a couple months ago. And uh, the printing production is going very well. So we're going to try to have it at Gen Con. If it's not at Gen Con, it'll be out very shortly. Okay. So deck building, the deck building game, shooting for Gen Con. Thank you, sir, for chatting with me. My pleasure. I appreciate that. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast 
at Dicetower.com.